this is not a hard and fast rule by any means. None of these are. But if you are working on a vocal mix, chances are the vocal is the most important thing in that mix, the most important thing in that song. So it doesn't have to be the first thing that you put in, but I would put that vocal in as early as you can and start mixing around it. Now, I didn't do this for a long time. I would start with the drums, get the bass working with the drums, work my way up through the guitars and keyboards and all the other elements on top, and then save the vocal for last. And a lot of times by the time I got to that point, there was no room left for the vocal. And really, if that's the most important thing in the song, no room left for the vocal is not where you want to be starting. Because at that point, you're really starting over. Then you have to do twice as much work to find a space for the vocal when really you could have just been building things around it to begin with. So I find that by getting that in early in the mix, I'm able to mix a lot faster and I'm able to make more space for that vocal and achieve a louder, more immersive mix where the band kind of wraps around your head and draws you into that space uh, because the vocal doesn't actually have to be as loud, but you can hear it clearly and you can understand every word and it just sits in its own nice little pocket and has its own little space to do what singers do. Sing. See you next Wednesday.